Are you having trouble with your bees? Do you need some help diagnosing it? If that's the case, this video series is for you. Welcome to InsideTheHive.tv, the show that takes you into the world of bees. I'm your host, Umberto Von Cristiani. In this video series, we're going to talk about the diagnostic lab at the USDA in Beltsville, Maryland. We're going to cover many different videos covering all the diagnostics, every, all the services that they provide there. I would like to thank Dr. Jay Evans that allowed me to record those videos and Sam Aban that helped me with the videos. Um, did you know that you as a beekeeper or as, or as a bee enthusiast can send uh, bee samples to the Honey Bee Lab at USDA and get a free diagnostic? I believe it's for free, but I don't think people know that. So that's why one of the reasons why I'm doing this video series. Um, in these videos, we're going to learn things like how to do diagnostic for American fowl brood, how we're going to do diagnostic for uh, European fowl brood, fowl brood uh, varroa mite, tracheal mite, and many other things. And I hope this is going to be help helpful to someone. I hope you guys enjoy. Please, if you like it, thumbs up, share with friends, and, and subscribe if you want to follow this up. Without further ado, let's jump into the videos. I'm here at USDA in Beltsville, Maryland, uh, talking with Sam Aban. He is the head of the diagnostic lab and the bee research lab. And he's going to demonstrate uh, how people should send samples uh, to, to the bee lab for diagnostic. Sam, what's the main ways to send samples to, to the USDA? So if you're concerned about um, mites issue or Nuzima, issue in your hive, you know, in your bees, um, then you may want to send us um, some bee samples, approximately adult um, bees, adult bees, approximately about 100 adult bees. Okay. Um, so what you want to do is once you, you know, you can collect your, your bees in a tray or pan, any suitable container, and then you want to scoop up uh, approximately 100 bees. Approximately 100 bees. Yes. So if you if you have a problem in your yard, you have a lot of dead bees or something that you're concerned, yeah. you get a container like this, approximately yeah. this size. Probably this size, you know, approximately 100 bees. Uh, just a half a cup of bees. Okay. We do the same. All you want to do, you know, you you know, try to get in a, in a container. Any kind of container. What's yeah. So we we'll recommend a com container with a lid that you know that can seal tightly so it doesn't leak any alcohol because you may you you also want to um, preserve the bees that you collected in, in alcohol okay. so it, it doesn't further decay before we get in the lab. So we uh, what we we'll recommend is uh, once you get your bees in the container, um, you want to pour some alcohol. So you can just get a just regular rubbing alcohol, so it doesn't have to be any special alcohol. Mm -hmm. So what you want to do, you want to soak the bees just above the bee line, just over okay. your sample. Soak them up. Soak them, and just so approximately about a minute. A minute or two. Or just two. Just, just let it sit. So the alcohol can penetrate in the tissues. To the tissues. To preserve everything. Preserve it a little bit okay. further before we get it. Um, so once you, you let it you know, sit for about a minute or two, mm -hmm. or just prior to um, preparing your shipping box, okay. um, you, you can just um, let it sit. This, um, now what you want to do is actually you want to drain off all the liquid. All the liquid out, out, of, the, the box. out of the container okay. again. All right. Um, why, why do you need that? Is there um, a problem? There is a problem. Oh. I'm there is a problem when you need when they arrive or the transportation. No, yeah, it's just um, due to how uh, the transport and uh, once you ship, uh, when you go to the post office, they they don't require any liquid uh, um, okay. shipment of, of samples, so um, they will reject might reject the 
your uh, shipment your because, because, because it contains the alcohol, liquid alcohol. Okay. So vapor is actually okay. So it's not any liquid. So what you want to do is uh, drain off all the excess alcohol, like so, until there's no liquid left. Just try as best you can to get all the liquid off. So it might help to just, you know, put it on. Just get it off as much as, as you much can. as you can until, as you can see now, it's almost all the liquid is gone. Okay. This is a perfect way to actually uh, send in a just sample. Send sample. So you want to tightly seal the container. just like so so this will do okay and and most importantly you want to use a, a box a cardboard box to ship in your your sample um, and just just in case just a on the way you get crushed the bar or uh, the container get crushed you're still able to contain all the bees. the bees in a box exactly. as opposed to uh, uh, or envelope, an envelope sometimes get crushed and you just damage the sample themselves. So you got a nice studded cardboard box and you place your sample in. And also you wanna add just a, a separate note um, of your information, uh, what the problem that you encounter mm -hmm. that you want us to know about. And do all that you can write it down in, you know, just yeah. in a- Personal paper. information. Commercial, uh, yeah, VER information. Yes. What's the problem? What, what at least what do you think is what the is problem? The problem? Yes. And okay. also optionally, if you send you more than one sample, maybe a much important that you actually label the container. Label itself. the container. So whatever label you want to give to your sample, um, that you can reference back to your hive. Yeah. Is we're gonna we're gonna actually um, indicate that also on the report that we. We're gonna send you back after okay. after we actually process the sample. So you can just write in Sharpie. Um, um, black ink Sharpie is more preferable. Should in case you have any residual liquid and uh, the and then and yeah, wash the on it. Yeah. Okay. So the impression impression will be still there. May might be able to able to read it. Now, if you use other chapter like a blue ink chapter, they tend to just wash all of wow. them. And, and that's not good. Use, not good. It's okay. complicated, especially if you have more than one sample. We're not going to be able to distinguish which sample so was which. Good label is important. Good label, good label is yeah. important. Good label is important and also tightly seal the container that you send it. And thirdly, um, separate the 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 uh, note that you're going to send up with your information from the sample. From the sample. Don't wrap the information sheet with, on the, the, with the bottle. Okay. Keep them separate. Keep them separate. Should in case anything happen. And they happen with the, the information. So you still have the information. Yeah. Don't lose everything. Don't lose everything. Okay, so just a short recap. Yeah. If you need to, if you, you have concerns about mites and nosema, yeah. send adult bees to you. Adult bee sample. And that's the way you perform adult bees. Get a hundred, uh, approximately a hundred bees yes. in a container yes. like that. Yeah. Um, soak alcohol, it, soak yeah. in alcohol. And drain off the drain excess Drain the alcohol, alcohol off. Put in a cardboard box. Yes. Tightly good, sealed the container. Good label in the sample. Yeah. Good information in a paper sheet. Yes. Sent to USDA. Yes. Now, if you may wonder, uh, well, I don't have this type of container. Mm -hmm. um, there's other suitable co um, containers that you can also use okay. to send us a sample that also works effectively. And that could be just um, a Ziploc bag. Okay. Uh, like this is uh, one that is double zip. Double one. zip. Yes. So you can still do the same thing. Um, collect your bees. Um, alcohol, alcohol, and drain off drain the of alcohol, and then seal, seal tightly again. And good label, good label on the right here on the label area, and then I know. Yeah, now now I understand why it's so important the cardboard. If you send this in an envelope, it's yeah. gonna be crushed. It's gonna be crushed, 
And what happens is when it's crushed, now all the gut content that we get out show for the Nizuma test and all the spill That's going to compromise the test. Run. Yes. Okay. And we're not going to be able to actually watch the beast to recover the mic. And so in that case, the best we can do is just a presence or absence of, of any spores we detect under the microscope. Okay. And we're not going to get a full infestation um, analysis in that case. Okay. Got it. So that's um, that's how the sample was sent for. Any I other container? Um, other containers could be um, just a mason jar, yeah. regular mason jars would lead us. In some cases, we get pill bottles. Mm -hmm. You know, like that. nice pill that, bottles that, works that will you. work too as well. This okay. holds approximately hundred bees in this in this container, and so that would that will work as well. So okay. so either you can use a mason jar, pill bottle. Ziploc bags, or a nice bottle like this one. Like this one. Yeah, that will, that will work as Got well. It. To send an Got adult it. bee sample for varroa or, 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 or nosema. Or sometimes or sometimes trichomite test. Okay. Um, so that's what you, you need. Okay. And everything in a box. Everything in a box. Yes. Perfect. Thanks, Sam. No problem. Let's let's move on to the next kind of sample that people might want to send, which yes. is brood. Brood sample. Brood sample. Yes. But that comes up next. Yes. Yeah.